So you just discovered web scraping and you're excited to get started on your first web scraping project. But sometimes it's hard to get your creative juices going and come up with an idea for your first project. We are Parsub and today we will propose a couple of ideas that you can use to get started with web scraping. Before we get started, you might be wondering what web scraping is in the first place. In short, web scraping refers to the extraction of data from a website to a more useful format. In most cases, web scraping is done with an automated software tool rather than manually. If you'd like to learn more about web scraping, check out our in-depth video on web scraping and what it's used for. Just click on the card that is on the screen right now. We have put together five different ideas for you to start your first web scraping project. We have built some of these examples to allow you to realize the power of web scraping with further analysis. Number one, take price comparison to the next level. One project a lot of people like to start with involves scraping e-commerce sites for product data and price comparison. While this project is a good place to get started, we suggest you take it to the next level and analyze the data from your scrape to find the best purchase in a certain category. For example, you could scrape data about all tablets available on Amazon and analyze the data set to figure out what is the best bang for your buck when comparing both pricing and review score data. You can make this analysis more detailed by filtering out products with a low amount of reviews. You'd be looking to answer the question, what is the best rated tablet you can purchase for the lowest amount? Ready to get started? Check out our video on how to scrape Amazon product data. Number two, build a simple investment app with no coding. This project might sound a bit intimidating. However, building a simple investment app is easier than you'd think. Your goal would be to set up your web scraper to scrape a few specific stocks from Yahoo Finance every day. This scrape will then be fed into a Google spreadsheet and once any stock drops under a specific price, a buy notification will be sent to your email. You can start this project by checking out the following quick guides that we have linked in the description. How to scrape Yahoo Finance data, how to import your web scrapes to Google Sheets automatically, and how to send an email notification from Google Sheets based on a sales value. Number three, scrape a subreddit to find popular topics and words. If you're like me, you might have a few subreddits that you love to browse. Do you sometimes wonder if there are specific words or topics that get more upvotes than others within that community? Or which topics get more comments and create more discussion? You could scrape this subreddit and create graphs such as word clouds to present the insights you found. You could then take these graphs and insights from your project and share them with that specific subreddit to spark further conversations and get some sweet Reddit karma. Interested in this project? Check out our video on how to scrape Reddit data. Number four, scrape a leads database for someone else or sell it. You might know someone in your family or circle of friends who runs their own business. Why not help them by building a database of leads for their business? First, you'd have to ask them about the details of their business and what kind of leads they would find valuable. After this, you can set up your web scraper to scrape leads from the internet to build your database. If you don't know anyone in your circle that might need a leads database, you could also try to sell it. Want to complete this project? Check out our video on how to scrape Yelp data. Number five, take on a real web scraping job. Why not get started with a real world example of a web scraping job? Numerous one-off web scraping jobs get posted on job boards every day. These are great to get started with since they are great examples of what web scraping is used for in the real world. A great place to start is Upwork, where you can search for web scraping jobs and apply to take them up or just complete them for learning purposes. To get started, check out the search results page for web scraping on Upwork. At this point, you might already know what your first web scraping project will be. However, you might still be wondering what web scraper you should use to carry out your project. The truth is that the best web scraper for your project might be different depending on the needs of your project. However, every single project on this list can be completed using Parsub, a powerful and free web scraper. You can download it for free through the link in the description or at parsub.com. What web scraping project will you tackle first? Thanks for watching our video. If you want to learn more about web scraping, check us out at parsub.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on web scraping, data, and the internet.